Once you start balding, the first thing that goes is your hair. The very next thing that goes is your confidence. So today we're going to talk about how to build your confidence whenever you start losing your hair. Now I've been through it and any man that starts losing his hair has also been through it. When your hair first starts thinning or you start losing it completely, you try to cover it up. You take the longer bits and you kind of push it over to the side. You kind of block off all the marks that are kind of patchy or thin. You do your very best to hide the fact that you're balding, even though everybody can obviously see what you're doing. You're hiding. You're being very insecure about losing your hair. And rightly so. We put a lot of our stock in who we are, in our personality, in our appearance. We identify a lot with how we look, and people around us judge us, firstly, on how we look. So it's understandable why you'd want to hide your insecurity. I recommend you stop. Whenever I was in high school, I was completely uncomfortable with the idea of shaving my head, so I waited until I graduated. I regret that. I feel like if I had owned it a lot more, I would have been a lot happier in high school and I wouldn't have been trying to hide all the time. So I'm going to give you a few actionable steps to gain confidence while you're balding. Step one, get into shape. And if you're already in shape, get into more shape. See, none of us are in our perfect conditions. We can always get stronger, always get faster, always get better. And one of the best ways of increasing self-confidence and increasing happiness overall is by exercising. Running more often, lifting more at the gym, or even going to the gym at all helps a lot with your confidence. Whenever you start to see that difference, those gains, your stomach receding, your chest increasing, your arms increasing, your endurance increasing, you get a lot more confidence from that. Some recommendation is starting up a simple program for working out, doing upper body one day and then the next day doing lower body and giving yourself one day each week of just complete rest. If you need advice on working out and how to structure it all, there are plenty of videos on YouTube and plenty of articles on Google. If you don't want to do any of that and you want to hear it specifically from me, ask down in the comments below. I'd be happy to share my workout tips to you guys. Whenever I first started balding, the first thing that I did was try to hide and cover it up. The next thing I did was get into shape, and it completely helped and changed my perspective on balding and allowed me to feel a lot more confident to be just who I am, which is just a regular dude who's a little bit more in shape than other dudes who's also balding. Step two is pick up a hobby. It might seem counterintuitive. You might be working and going to school, and you're also trying to add exercise onto all of that. How do you have time for hobby. Here's where I'm getting at. If you can see some kind of sense of accomplishment and progression, you're going to feel a lot better about yourself. If you're picking up a hobby like working on computers, working on your cars, starting a blog or a YouTube channel, anything that you can gradually see a progression in is going to make you feel a lot more confident in who you are. You'll see that you can still accomplish things even if you're losing your hair. For me, whenever I started balding, the first thing that I did was pick up exercise, like I mentioned previously. But I also started taking YouTube a lot more seriously, and I started blogging more and doing more intricate blog posts. I started biking, I started doing parkour, I started doing all these things just to help me remember that I can still accomplish things if I put my mind to it, and my hair doesn't have to define my successes. I know that seems very cliche and that the hair loss shouldn't really impact someone that's that much psych psychologically. I'm sorry for the stuttering. I know it seems really weird that someone would have to go to such great lengths to compensate for maybe their hurt ego when they're losing their hair, but if you haven't gone through the process, then it's really hard to understand what it's like to just start losing your hair at the age of like 14 to 18. If you're a young balding man, you have to find a way of gaining that confidence back, otherwise you're going to be a recluse, you'll become introverted, it'll be harder for you to talk to other people, you'll feel very insecure about your hair constantly, and you'll obsess over it. You'll constantly be moving around what hair you have left trying to cover it, and that's just not a happy way to live. One of the best ways you can just remain happy is finding some accomplishment, finding some successes in your life, which is why I recommend finding a hobby that can help you feel that. My last tip to you guys may seem a little bit shallow, but try to dress better. Try wearing colored shirts more often, or try wearing shirts that shows a little bit more chest. If you're drawing the eyes down instead of up, you're going to feel a lot better because people will be looking down at your shirt or your chest, or maybe even just your face, instead of looking at the bald patches in your hair. If you're short on cash, I recommend going to a thrift store. They have great selections of colored shirts. If you can find a hoodie, even better. Anything that draws the eyes down and makes you look a little bit more fashionable will help you a lot in the long run. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this helps somebody somewhere somehow. If you enjoyed this, like, comment, subscribe. If you want to see more from me, you can go to my daily blog and social media down in the description below. I hope you guys have a fantastic day, night, 3 a.m. if you're watching this. I don't care. I hope you have a great whenever. Later.